Welcome back to the Research Finance Education Series. This video will explain to you the various aspects of the coding required to process a purchase or deposit. First, why is it important? Properly coded transactions will help you accomplish a wealth of goals. When you receive a check from your sponsor or learn about an EFT payment from the sponsor, having the appropriate coding will help allocate your funding to the correct activity. When it comes down to using funds for your project, having the proper expense code with activity will help research finance and accounts payable process your request. Finally, when it comes down to reporting on the financial performance of your study, either to the sponsor or internal management, having everything coded correctly will save you time when telling your story. A typical finance code will be made up of four components. The company code, the accounting unit, the account and sub-account, and the activity. The rest of this video will be explaining each. At Unity Health Toronto, there are three ledgers that are separated based on function. Company 1, Core Hospital Departments. Company 2, Research. Company 3, Trust. You will know which company to pick based on where you want to draw or deposit your funds. For Company 2, the accounting unit is used to classify the below information about your project or award. The most common accounting units are 10, Research Administration, 61, Research Medical General, and 64, Research Clinical Trial. It is important to note that Company 1 and Company 3 uses accounting unit differently. The account and subaccount helps us classify the type of expense or revenue. They are made up of six digits followed by four digits. Expense accounts start with a five and revenue accounts start with a four. A link will be accompanied, accompanied with this video to share with you the most common expense codes for research teams. The activity is a unique number dedicated to your project or award. Your activity number is made up of five digits followed by five digits. The first set of five digits are a sequential number. The second set of five digits is a description based on your funding source. Your research financial analyst will provide this information to you if requesting a new activity. The stronger our coding, the easier it will be when it comes down to reporting to our sponsors. If your sponsors do not require reporting for your project, accurate coding will still give you a clearer picture of the financial performance of your project. This will aid in future planning for your projects. The below is a snippet from a payment requisition form to an external vendor. You would be inserting the corresponding code into the corresponding boxes. If you are unsure about the activity or account code, it is preferred that you speak to your manager or principal investigator. This is because they work closer to the project and have a better understanding of what it's for. If you are unable to determine the coding, you may contact your research financial analyst or research finance. If you have any questions about this presentation, please contact your research financial analyst or researchfinance at smh.ca. Thanks for watching.